Okay, uh, what I'm going to show you today is how to vacuum form your casing on our vacuum forming machine. So first of all, I'm going to talk to you about the actual machine itself. Um, on the front here, we have the controls. Uh, we've got the, the dial here which controls the heat. On off button here, uh, the vacuum pump here which you can hear the vacuum sucking there. And we've also got uh, a blower or changeover. So if I push that, it reverses it from a vacuum to a blow. This particular machine has the, turn that off so you can hear me, has the ceramic heaters underneath there. I can't lift this one up because it's on rails, but it's got the ceramic heaters underneath there, which take about 10 minutes to warm up. The new machines have quartz heaters, which heat up straight away. But this one's quite a few years old now. Okay, so that's the machine. We're going to be using this plastic. Okay, uh, this is uh, rigid polystyrene or HIPS, H I P S, high impact polystyrene sheet. It's the same stuff as this polystyrene, which you will recognize from packaging and bean bags, but that's expanded polystyrene. But it's the same material, but this is in a a rigid format. So that's the material we're going to use. Um, you'll notice that on one side it is matte and on the other side with a plastic coating on the top it is actually uh, a nice gloss finish. So we're going to have the gloss side for this exercise facing upwards. So that's the material. Um, over here we've got the formers. These are, uh, we've got four to choose from on this project. They're made of resin uh, they've all got a draft angle around the side so you can actually release the former from the plastic at the end. We've also got, I don't know whether you can see that, there's an undercut there so it's going to actually suck the plastic underneath just along that strip there which uh, creates a natural clip for the, for the material, for the, for the wooden base to clip on. So that's the former. Okay, so we're going to uh, vacuum form this now. So if I bring the bed up you'll see the gauze plate here and there's a hole in the middle there and that's where the air is sucked out. We've also got a rubber seal on the inside there and the clamping frame that comes down, we've got a rubber seal here as well. So the, the whole process is completely sealed from the outside air so that when we suck the air out, we don't get any leaks. So I'm gonna pop my, my former onto the gauze plate. You'll notice that there are lots of holes here. Um, that's to suck the air out and actually pull the plastic down into the various places um, and the holes go all the way through. So we place that on the on the gauze, lower it carefully into the machine. We don't want to drop it otherwise it will jog. Put my rigid polystyrene sheet or hips, high impact polystyrene sheet on top, bring it down clamp it down with the toggle clamps and bring the heater over. Now this has been on for a while now so it should uh, probably take a minute and a half, two minutes. And while that's heating up I'm just going to show you the, uh, the form that we're going to produce which is this. Um, on here we've also got a hole for your jack plug to come out which plugs into your mp3 or your, your phone, whatever you're going to use to play your music. We've got a hole that we need to drill for the toggle switch to go on. And we've also got uh, a neat array of holes that have been drilled for the speaker uh, sound to come out of. Um, and I'm going to show you in another tutorial video how we actually get those holes to be uh, nice and neat and in line. So let's just have a look to see how we're doing. Uh, what happens is the plastic will uh, start to expand as it gets hot, so it will come up slightly, and then as it softens, you can see there it's quite soft, it will actually start to sag down. So that's, uh, that's about ready to go. Just give it a few more seconds just to make sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the lever, the form is going to come up, it's going to seal around the rubber seal, I'm going to turn on the vacuum and here we go. How cool is that? Okay, still quite hot. This is one millimetre rigid polystyrene which will cool quicker than the two mil that we've got. Now I'm going to reverse the blow 
So it blows up, push it down, and that just releases the mold. Undo the toggle clamps, up we come. It hasn't released it as nicely as I was hoping, but that's come out okay. And there we have our rigid polystyrene vacuum formed casing. So on the next tutorial I'm going to show you how we're actually going to drill the holes at the top for the speaker. Um, I think I've covered everything. Yeah, I think that ends this tutorial. Thank you.